Hello and welcome to the Futures Lab. So this week we are turning our HP variable into a health bar that we can look at visually and see how much green and red is in the bar and know how much health we have. Now originally I really wanted to use a pen tool for this. Um, unfortunately we can't because of the way that we've set up our box sprite. Because we want this health bar to be in this area here underneath the box, the problem is that the sprite itself and all of this black space is going to be over the top of the pen from our pen tool. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to use that particular method. I recommend you check out uh, other YouTube videos for how to make health bars using pen tools because they're a lot of fun and they're really accurate. And we're gonna do something a bit different and it's gonna work for this particular project. We're going to create it using a sprite. So to make our new sprite, we're gonna to go to the bottom right corner of the screen right here, hover over where it says choose a sprite, go up to until it says paint and click on that. We're going to rename this sprite right here. We're going to call it health bar, press enter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. Now, if you zoom in a couple of times, we are going to use these checkered boxes to create a health bar that's the correct size. So first of all, we're going to go to the rectangle tool once you're zoomed in enough. Make sure these boxes are nice and big. And then we're going to select a green color here. That looks good. Now with the health bar, um, what I recommend is you try and make it four boxes tall. So about this many pixels tall. And then what we want to do is we want to make it 20 boxes wide. So we've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then another ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, almost off the off the edge there. Let's see. Now make sure it fits very neatly within this checkerboard pattern. And double check, we've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, good, and four tall. So as you can see, this here is gonna be the size of our health bar. It's gonna fit nicely just there underneath the box. Let's go to our text um, tool. Let's select white in the colors. And I'm gonna switch to the pixel font, because that's my favorite font. I'm gonna type in HP, and I'm gonna shrink this and move it until it looks like it really belongs next to the bar. You can see there, that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we've got the select tool here, and we're gonna select our green bar. We're going to copy it. I'm gonna press Control and then C on my keyboard, and then we're gonna paste it. I'm gonna press Control and then V on my keyboard, and now I've got two of them. Make sure that this one is directly over the other one. And we're gonna change this color to red. Okay, that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename this costume zero. So just up here, type in zero, and then we're going to duplicate. We're going to duplicate, and what we're going to do here is we're going to move this red box two squares from the left to the right. That looks good, and we're gonna rename this 10. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate again our 10. We're going to name this as 20 up here. And we're going to move this red bar towards the right again. We're going to just make it a bit shorter by another two boxes. Let's do that again. We're going to duplicate. We're going to call this 30. 
we're going to make that another two boxes to the right, duplicate this again, call this 40. So as you can see, what we are doing here is we are creating percentages. So each time we do this, we need to keep upping the number by 10. And then for the final um, costume, we're going to name it 100 and we are going to delete the red bar entirely so that it's just fully green. Now, what we need to do is we need to get this first costume that we made here, the zero, and drag it all the way down so that it's in costume slot number 11. It's at the very end. So what you should have now is you should have 11 costumes and each of them is a percentage of the bar being green. You should have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. 100 is completely green. What we're going to do now is we're going to go to the code in the top left corner, and we're going to make sure that when the game starts, this goes to the right place. So if you go to motion and pull out a go to X and Y, now, I quite like sending this to x minus 50 and y minus 130. Um, just double click on that and see where it goes. It's a little bit high, so let's make this a little bit lower. Let's say 135 then. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to events, the yellow category, and we're going to pull out when green flag clicked and put it on the top so that when the game starts, this is what happens. And while we're here, just to make sure that the HP bar doesn't get lost behind our box like this, what we're also going to do is we're going to go to looks, the purple category, and pull out a go to front layer. Put that here and hit green flag and your HP bar should appear in front of your box. That looks good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a forever loop. So we're going to go to control, get out a forever, and put it on the bottom of our code. And we're going to go to variables. Now we have two different variables for our HP. We have the current HP and the max HP or the maximum HP, which is important for if you ever have healing if ever your HP will be able to go back up again. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a third variable similarly to how we did in my battle cat tutorial. Um, so we're going to go to um, make a variable in the top left corner and we're simply going to call this one player HP. We've got player current HP, player maximum HP, but this one we're simply going to call it player HP. Press OK, the blue button there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, go to operators, the green category. And we are going to pull out this operator here, join. And we're going to pull out two of them. So we've got two of these join apple with banana. Now we're going to grab one of these joins and we're going to put it right on top of the apple in the other one. So now we're joining three things together. It's going to take three different things and combine them into one thing. So we're going to go to variables. We're going to pull out a set variable. We're going to set the player HP and we're going to get our joins and put them into that zero. Now, what are we going to join? Well, the first thing is we're going to get the player current HP. Put that in our first socket of our joins. Then we're going to get out player max HP. Put that in the last socket of our joins. And then in the middle, click and delete whatever is there and type in space and then a slash and then a space. 
Okay, so let's see what this does. Uh, we've got our player HP, and if we E hit go, we've now got player HP, as you can see, is 94 slash 100. So 94 out of 100, or eight, it's gone down now, of course. So this is good. This is actually how um, HP looks in most video games. What this means is we no longer need our player current HP variable. So just untick that one there so we can't see it anymore and right click right here on player HP and select large readout. And you can drag this down and just put it to the right of our HP bar. So now that we have, we now have this exact number um, that's going to tie into this uh, health bar that we've made. So let's stop the game. Now what we need to do is we need some code that changes the costumes depending on how much health we have left. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the looks category just here, and we're going to pull out a switch costume too, and just put that underneath our player HP. Now, we have a hundred possible different options for how much HP we have, because our maximum HP is 100. So that's 100 possible different options. It could be 99 or 67 or whatever. But we only have 10 different costumes to represent that. So what we're going to need to do is take our current HP and divide that by 10 so that it fits into that structure of the 10 possible different costumes, because 100 divided by 10 is 10. So let's go to operators. Let's pull out a divide by operator. It's fourth from the top. It's represented by this slash here. And let's go to variables, the orange category. We need to pull out player current HP. Very important that it's current HP, not HP. Otherwise it won't work. Pull that out. Then we're going to divide this by 10. Take this whole thing and put it into our switch costume. Now, so that we can see what kind of number that our maths is generating here, we are going to go to looks and pull out a say hello, put that right underneath our switch costume, then duplicate this whole thing here and put that inside the say. And let's give it a test. So now what you can see is that we have taken our HP and by dividing it by 10, we've now got a number like eight point something. Now, this is very useful. It starts off at 10 and goes down to eight. We're currently at seven. We're getting close to six. And this works out because this works out with the number of costumes we have, right? Now, because of this um, decimal here, what it's doing is it is rounding to the nearest whole number. So when it's um, point something like four, three, or one, it rounds down. And if it's point five or above, then it rounds up. This is going to create some issues for us, this rounding. This is almost correct. Can you see how the HP bar is moving down? It's almost correct, but there's two little problems. When we get below 0 0.5, it's going to remove all of the green entirely, even though we're not dead yet. So let's fix that problem, shall we? We're going to go to operators and we're going to go to where we've got ABS of something. Now this here, if you click on where it says ABS, we have a bunch of different options. And the one that we want is called ceiling. Now, ceiling will round a number that has a decimal in it up, always up. So if it's 1.1, it will round up to two. Now, if you don't know what that means, nice and easy, let's see what it does. So let's make sure that we, we need to take our whole player current HP divided by 10 and put that into the of. So now we've got ceiling of, put that into our switch costume and put the same thing into our say, so we can see what's happening with this number here. So now you can see what's happening. This number is now 10 and it stays at 10 until we dip below 90. And now it's gone down to nine. This is really good. Now at this point, instead of having to wait for this to go all the way down, let's put in some code that will make our HP go down. 
nice little bit of testing code. Go to events just here, pull out a when space pressed, click on space and change it to something else. I'm gonna make it Z. And we're gonna to go to variables and we're gonna pull out change. We're going to change our player current HP. Very important that it's current HP by minus, uh, let's say three. So now every time we press the Z button, we'll be able to make the HP go down. I'm gonna do that a bunch of times now. Now, here's something that's really important. We've got a little sliver of green until we completely run out of health. That's perfect. So this ceiling has kind of fixed that little problem, but we've got a second problem we need to solve. That is, what if you want your player maximum HP to be a number other than 100? We need to make sure that we account for that. So this is how we do that. We're going to go to operators, the green category. We're going to pull out a divide by operator, and we're also going to pull out a multiply by operator. The multiply one looks like an asterisk or a little star. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to variables. And we're going to pull out player max HP put it in the second socket of our divide by operator. And in the first socket, we're going to type in 100. Then we're gonna take this whole thing, this whole 100 divided by player max HP, put it into the first socket of our multiply by operator. And then we're gonna take out the whole thing, this player current HP divided by 10, and put it in the second socket of our multiply by operator. So take this whole thing now and put it back into our ceiling of. I'm gonna get rid of this one, duplicate the whole of this one. What this is going to do is it's going to make it so that even if you have much more maximum health than 100 or much less, the maths will always add up. So let's test it, shall we? Um, underneath where we've got our when Z key pressed, I'm going to change this to make our player maximum HP go up by 50. And let's give it a test. So now if I make our maximum HP go up, so now our maximum HP is 300, as you can see, 90 is about one third. And we've got a lot more red in the bar now, don't we? Um, whereas when we started, when it was, when it was 90 out of 100, it was a lot more green. So we've got our code working. So now no matter how much HP you want to give your player at the beginning of the game, this is always going to be fairly accurate to that. Now there's one last little thing that we can change that I think is a good idea. You'll notice that up till now, we have been able to go into a minus number for our uh, current HP. So we can be like on minus three hit points. Now, mathematically, that's fine. That works out fine. But whenever you play a video game, you never see yourself go down below zero hit points, do you? It's kind of rare. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the heart sprite. We're going to look for our when green flag clicked. That's got our little note on it saying projectile collision. See, this is why you leave yourself notes so you can find your code again. Now look all the way down until we find if player current HP is less than one. What we want to do is we want to get out a set variable, put it right underneath our if player current HP less than one, and we're gonna set our player current HP to zero, so it can never go below zero. The other thing is our, our line that says say, we probably don't need this anymore. I hope that that's made that a little bit more obvious how we are manipulating the numbers there. As always, you can subscribe and ring the bell to get notifications for when the next episode is out and when we're doing live streams and that kind of thing. But until next week, stay awesome, be cool to each other and take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time, ninjas.